One thing that doesn't go away, even though this virus is here to stay, is crime. Criminals are everywhere. Criminals are everywhere. That's why it's always important to pour some liquor out for the homies whenever you can. Man, you never know when you're gonna go back there. Like, trust me, you never know. Anything can happen. All right, let's, let's go. Crowbar takes a look at crime during the COVID-19 pandemic. Right now, you know who the biggest criminals are? The place is still collecting gym memberships. Bad, 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 bad. Any place right now that is still taking your membership fees, you gotta dump them, ditch them. All right, so you all know this guy. Man, who doesn't know this guy by now? Mr. Exotic. I actually used to know a guy named Mr. Exotic, but uh, he didn't have a tiger. My friends are all like, Mike, you gotta watch this show. Oh, crazy gay cowboys with tigers? Yes, that sounds like exactly something I'd wanna watch during a pandemic. Poor, poor Joe, he got busted for, oh wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spoil it here. He got busted for trying to kill this woman right here. And this one is not an angel, trust me, this is no angel right here. Okay, this, look at this photo. Here she is taking her husband out for a walk on his leash. The former business partner of Joe Exotic claims he found footage of the Netflix star having sex with animals at his Oklahoma Zoo. His partner has actually been really trashing Joe on social media. The ex-partner of Joe Exotic was doing an interview lately and the reporter asked if there was any other weird shit about the gay country singing Exotic. And the guy actually said, you know what, I think the weirdest thing that we found was, quote, a flash drive of Joe and his ex-husband. They were having sexual relations with animals in the park. Now, don't you feel dirty that you watched that show? Gay and country don't go together. As soon as I saw the picture on the Netflix cover that showed Joe Exotic, I knew that this guy had some dirt in his cage. I knew that this guy, you can't just tell me you are around all these fluffy animals and you're a freak and you haven't tried to have sex. I don't know any company that's gonna try and put their name behind this guy. So you can tell obviously there's not gonna be a sequel. Actually, I'm sure that the sequel is gonna be uh, how Joe survived prison after this all gets out. Cause I'm telling you, those boys in jail are not gonna take good to tiger fuckers. Same with monkey fuckers. All right, let's fly on over to jolly old London, England, where British customs officers have seized 14 kilograms of cocaine worth more than 1.25 million. The smugglers had hidden the drugs in face masks and they were sending them to the UK as aid, as personal protection equipment. The cocaine wrapped in 15 packages was found in boxes full of face masks. Those are some shameless gangsters. Whether there's a pandemic or there's, you know, a zombie apocalypse, it doesn't matter. Even if the zombies are out there rolling around, it doesn't matter, okay? Drugs are still gonna make it to where they have to go. Polish man was arrested 34 years old. That dude may never get out. All right, let's fly back home real quick, all the way to Ontario. Back home where the RCMP and the border guards have busted two Ontario men for trying to smuggle $4.8 million worth of cocaine into the country. Cocaine is probably the worst thing to do during the pandemic, because if you're rolling around sniffing right now, your friends will ostracize you. <laughs> no, 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 I just did a line. I just, dude, you will have to admit you did a line, just so people won't run away from you. The worst feeling about being caught up in the sting is the actual surprise when they get you. Uh, the first time I ever got caught, I knew a guy, I won't say his name on here, but he uh, came and did a drug deal with me with two crisp $100 bills. And I was like, oh my God, awesome, you paid me, I gave him some drugs, and then he left. And then I just thought when he left, like, how weird is this that he had two crisp $100 bills that he gave me and he didn't have any money the day before. So then I get a knock on the door and I look and it's some random guy and the cops come busting in my door and take me down, man. And it's just like, oh, the heartbreak that comes with stings is worse than taking the hit of the cash or the drugs. You know, the sting that somebody that you knew and liked at the time and actually respected and loved set you up. 
That is the part that hurts the most. So police snatched them up, took the drugs for themselves, and now they're all quarantined with the booty and they're doing lines like police do. They go home and they... All right, let's just stay in Hamilton where the police have arrested a husband and a wife with 1.5 million and an assault rifle. Dude, the guy was carrying the cash. The girl was carrying the rifle. Like, that is straight gangster. So they took these two down in their home after probably an illegal search and seizure of some kind and found out they had a storage locker, uh, went to the storage locker, and that's where they found the rest of this guy's stuff. The guy had about a million dollars worth of street drugs and a couple other uh, weapons and stuff inside of that locker. See, that's what everybody needs in their life right now. They don't need a dealer, you don't need a bootlegger, Right? You don't need a mushroom guy. You don't need the booty call of all booty call. You don't need a lot of things right now. All you really need is a guy with a shitload of guns and a bunker. That's it. Bunker, I'll bring the food, motherfucker. All right, let's come on over to Coquitlam, British Columbia, the town I represent right now. Not my hometown, but my town I represent. And it sucks that I'm representing now because this story right here is going to make you sick. A woman is facing charges in Coquitlam after she coughed on a store clerk for not allowing her to buy extra tissues. I guess this douchebag lady wanted to buy some extra tissues and there was an only one per policy like we are all doing right now, okay? Lady, you're not special. So she asks to get more tissue. The clerk is just doing her job and says, no douchebag, you can only have one like the signs all over the store say. And so the 25 year old woman coughed and spat on the clerk. What would you do? That's a tough one. I don't know what I would do. I would probably uh, freak the fuck out and beat up the boyfriend or at least try. And now to celebrity news. Jesse Smollett in the news once again and craziness. How crazy is this? All right. So now it's coming out that this guy, Jesse, had sex with this guy right here, Abel. All right, now Abel was one of the accused guys that actually was uh, charged in the, uh, in the in the assault of Jesse. Jesse, 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 Jesse. He was one of the two brothers charged, but now it's coming out that Jesse had an affair with him. Bum, bum, bum. Both of them are gonna do very well in prison. It'll be okay, they're cuddlers. They seem like cuddlers. The brothers are contesting the saying they are not gay. That is the least of your problems right now, dude. Being gay could actually probably be a good thing for you. Because if you are gay, the actual gay alliance will back your ass up. That's the best part. Like, don't deny being black gay. Anyways, there's some crime from all over uh, the world. Uh, just so you can see what's going on around you. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please just hit that button, that one right down there. Just bam, hit it. Bam! That's it. You're in. And when you're in, you're into a club of men that are going to fucking stand up for you, man. We are a bunch of dudes that got your back. Man, we have your back, and you don't even know we have your back. We're like creeping around your back, but we have it, right? That's the Crowbar City way. Once again, thanks for joining us with Crowbar Clips. We'll see you on the next one.